Okay, Bolo Buddies, we are at the Goodwill Bins, which is the outlet store. Wait until you see the treasures I find. I meet up here with Dad Planet, and we have a collaboration video for you, and I'll tell you more about that after my trailer. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, so it starts off a little slow. I don't find a whole lot in the beginning. I cut out a lot of footage. I am gonna do um, the full footage video over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably release it in a day or two, but here's what's gonna happen. I met Dad Planet. And if you don't know Dad Planet, make sure you go and subscribe to his channel. I met him up here at the Goodwill Bins for a challenge. This is a challenge video. So what you guys need to do, everyone that is watching, I need you to watch my video. And then I need you to go and watch his video. And I'm going to link it down in the description. You guys are going to decide who found the best items. Then... You're going to come over to my community page and you are going to vote. And we'll talk more about that after I tell you about this Lisa Frank. So I saw this folder and if you guys can find the vintage Lisa Frank, it can be a big money bolo. Even the folders can do well as seen. Okay, so back to the challenge. You're going to go over to my community page and vote by Friday. So... On my community page, it will say Dad Planet Bolo Buddies, and you're gonna click who you think had the better haul. This is a friendly challenge. Whoever wins, the loser is going to send the winner a thrifted prize. So, just a way to get the audience involved and have a little fun. So make sure you go and vote. Make sure you check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe to him. He has an awesome channel. He does a lot of what solds, but he also has videos like this. So this is a really, really fun item right here, but it weighed so much. It probably, I think our Goodwill bins is $1.79 a pound. So this was probably four to six pounds, I'm guessing. It was super heavy. So I put it in my cart. I decided to put it back. What I did is I came to the bins and then I left and I came back. I went next door to the Goodwill store. There's a retail store right next door. And when I came back, that is when I found some really cool stuff. But before I leave to go over, I find one item. It is the weirdest item I have ever found and I had to buy it. I think it's gonna be a bolo. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. It's definitely a fun item. That's all the hints you get. All right, stay tuned, it's coming soon. So whenever I see little bags of things, I definitely turn them over, look, and I have found good stuff inside those little bags. Sometimes I find bags with toys in them. Sometimes there's ornaments. Um, a video coming soon. I just need to do the edits. I found a crafter's lot, which is pretty interesting. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're new here. I would appreciate it. Um, I've got some great footage coming soon. These are McDonald's plates. Now, these are two of my solds from a past, um, past sales on Mercari. And they are Hercules McDonald's plates. If you guys do not know about those, they are definitely a bolo. Here it is, you guys. <laughs> what do you think? I was like, should I get this? Will I get this? I'm going to definitely get this. So this rode around in my cart <laughs> and everybody was probably like, why is she getting that? But I love it. I think it's going to sell. I think it's a fun, unique item. It is called um, Footstool Unlimited is what it says on the bottom. A footstool with a personality. And 
I was only able to find one comparable on it and it was on Worth Point and I'm not sure if it was the same brand. So I will pop that up. Could not find anything on eBay. I don't know what I'm doing wrong if I'm typing in the wrong keywords or what, but nothing. And I would think that an item like that would be easy to find. So it must not have been mass produced. There must not have been a lot of them made. The cool thing is you can put whatever socks and shoes on that that you want. So I'm gonna do a 10 day auction on that and just see if it gets some bids. I am gonna start it at what I would like to at least get out of it. Um, if it goes higher, great. If not, um, I'll be happy with that sale price. If it does not sell, I will relist it at a buy it now price or best offer. Now it did have um, the foam on the top was showing. It does need um, a cover. Somebody needs to refinish the top of it, which is no big deal. Some people might want to do that themselves anyway. But the condition overall was pretty, pretty great. Not sure the age on it, but pretty sure it's vintage. That was my weirdest find. Now, like I said, I go next door to the thrift store and I come back and that is when I find a whole bin of stuff that everybody has already gone through everybody left it behind nobody's digging in this bin and i am scooping up the treasures so that will be coming here shortly right now i'm just digging through a bunch of stuff sometimes i pick up those pets i have another channel it's called reseller testing bolo products and i like to pick up animated things and show those on that channel I also do live shows over there where I do working hangouts. And if you guys like to um, go to working hangouts, definitely check out that channel also. It's linked down in the description. I basically just list and I pull up a screen share as I list. So if you're new to eBay and you're kind of learning or wanting to learn how to list, um, I can show you how to do that over there. So check out that channel. And then my other channel is Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. That is where I'm gonna do the unedited, uncut footage of this trip because I had 45 minutes of footage and I trimmed it down. So that'll be coming here in the near future. So subscribe to that channel also. Okay, this bin was full of audiobooks. Uh, they were from a library. So I'm guessing maybe a library closed or I don't know, I mean, there were so many. Um, I did not get any of those. Should I have? Does anybody sell audiobooks that they've picked up from libraries? How do they do? What's your opinion on that? I think this was for cigars. Um, I ended up leaving that behind. I put it in my card. I kind of looked at it for a minute and decided that I wasn't going to get it. All right, there's lots of like, uh, I think Precious Moments dolls in this bin. I did not get those, but I did see a lady with those in her cart. All right, so at this point in time, Dad Planet was not there. So what happened was I was at the bins and somebody saw me recording and she asked me if I had a channel and I told her yes. And I proceeded to ask her who she watched. And she's like, well, there's a guy that comes in here. And I'm like, Dad Planet? And she's like, yeah, that's who it is. This right here is Paw Patrol. Definitely pick that up. It is, um, takes batteries and it moves. It's a great item. Anyway, so I said, oh, I know him. And I sent him a message and I was like, hey, I just saw one of your viewers at the bins and he's like i was thinking about going there today and i'm like well i'm here you should meet me over here and we'll do a collab video so he was out doing his thing and i went off to another thrift store and then we met back up here to do our bins challenge so that's what we decided to do is we are gonna here it is you guys look at all of these i dug in this bin for probably 20 minutes, pulling out every single one of these Little Tykes vintage blocks. They're interlocking waffle blocks. And I felt like I remembered having them in one of my videos before. Um, that little bag was uh, a plastic uh, grocery store bag and it had the Duplo Legos in it. So I went ahead and grabbed that as well. But these uh, little tykes, oh my goodness, there were so many. And they were spread out among two bins. 
So I dug and dug and dug all of them out. Probably people were looking at me like I was crazy. There's also these little peekaboo blocks and I'm gonna pop up my listings for those as well. Those do really good. I always pick them up when I see them at garage sales. I was really excited to see them still sitting in the bin. Again, these bins were completely picked over and this one sold in less than 24 hours. I probably underpriced it a little bit because it sold so quickly. Here is the other lot that I have listed. It is a bigger lot of 22. And the little tykes, I'm gonna show you that listing here soon. Now, what I did with the little tykes, and I learned this tip from the Rebel reseller. She said uh, one time she picked up a bunch of blocks, wood blocks, and she asked the manager if they could work with her on the price because they were so heavy and they were a set. So I did the same thing. I asked for the manager and she came over and she told me that I could have all of the little tykes blocks for $5. So I filled my cart with these. Now, it was kind of a pain. I had to lay them all out and interlock them for a photograph for the, um, the listing. And I had them outside on my, uh, in my driveway and it started raining. So then I had to wipe them all down. So it ended up being quite the task but I'm hoping that it is gonna pay off. So you can just see me digging, digging, digging for all of these uh, little tykes and peekaboo blocks. There's some magnets in there that I'll probably hang on to and lot those up eventually. Uh, I like to pick up smalls and hang on to them and make lots of toys. That, uh, I really like toys. That's one thing you'll see a lot on my channel. I really like vintage Christmas. Here they are. Look at all of these. I think there was 134 total. I picked up this little Wizard of Oz. It was a, it's vintage, so it didn't end up comping out very high, but it's a new old stock vintage item, and I love vintage toys. So went ahead and grabbed that. Still digging these out. I do find some more stuff, so I'm gonna pull up comps as I find them. I'm sorry, not comps, my listings. They are actually my eBay listings. So all of these items are available in my store. My store is linked in the description if you would like to check out what else I'm selling. I am a full-time reseller. I have been selling on eBay since 2005. I did pick up this little Cabbage Patch um, diaper bag. Super cute item. I have sold something similar to that before. It wasn't a diaper bag, but it was the same print. It was more of like a sleeping bag and it sold pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that will sell quickly. Also, just a little bread and butter item, but you know, it all adds up. All right. This I thought about getting. They were like interlocking toys. I'm not sure what they're called, but there were a whole bunch of them and I think they were vintage, but I tried using Google Lens while I was there and I couldn't pull up the same thing, the same exact thing, and none of them were marked. And then these little interlocking things with the balls on the end, I didn't pick those up. Maybe I should have. You'll see a whole bunch of them in the bin. Um, I left those behind. Would you guys have picked those up? Let me know in the comments. And I did get some footage of Dad Planet, so stay tuned for that. That is coming soon. This is still before he got there. So... Um, this little Wizard of Oz, Cowardly Lion, it's from 1987. It's just a little minifigure. They can be used as cake toppers or just little toys for kids. But because it was vintage, I went ahead and picked that up. This I almost grabbed just to have notebook paper. Um, I do a lot of things with my YouTube channel where I have to write stuff down. So I could have used it for that, but I decided to leave it behind. So what do you guys think about the blocks? the waffle blocks, the 134 of them that I picked up. Would you have picked them up or would you have left them behind? All right, this little spinny thing here, that is from a Lego set. That is a Paw Patrol um, replacement. Uh, is it an ATV, like a four-wheeler for one of the characters? I always pick up those little things. They're bread and butter, but that bread and butter will all add up. I don't know what that was. I did leave all the Duplos, um, you can see them, in the bin. 
I usually don't mess with them unless they're like the cars, the vehicles, things with wheels, um, the minifigures. I'll do some of those. I, I was at this point just throwing things. That was the other little Lego. Uh, it was a double swing, and I believe they go to a Dora the Explorer set. It's in my listing, but it was um, two pieces. So I went ahead and uh, put those together. As you saw earlier, I popped up the screenshot of my listing. All right, here's my cart. And it is full of those blocks. So again, this ended up being a lot of work, but I did find like the perfect box to hold all of it. I almost got that little guy, but he was under $10. So I went ahead and just threw him back. I have so much inventory at my house that I need to list just loads of it in my garage, in my basement. Um, I'm currently working on getting items from my garage listed so that I'm ready for garage sale season. So this is the book section. And as I'm looking through the books, I see this bag and it is a bag of Legos. And I'm really excited about this. I enjoy selling Legos. Sometimes I part them out and sell the minifigures separately. But when I got home, I pulled the minifigures out and I believe it's a Harry Potter set. And those were the minifigures that were in there. So I'm going to try to figure out which Lego set it is and decide if I want to part out the minifigures or if I want to try to sell it as a set. If I can figure out what the set is and look up online the instructions, first I'll comp it and see if it's worth trying to put it together. And if it's, you know, $50 or more, I'll take the time to probably put it together. If not, I'm just going to um, sell the minifigures separately. So I'm over here in the hats and the backpacks and that type of thing. I'll do those types of things periodically. I try to stay away from clothes anymore. I used to do only retail arbitrage clothing when I first started. Okay, you guys, here's Dad Planet. Dig, 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 dig. He just pointed this out and he told me to grab it. So I think I'm going to grab it. Yeah. All right. Good thing. It's gross. Right, go. It is gross. You should have on a glove. I don't. I... Okay, so you couldn't really hear what he said. He said something, and I said, it is gross, because he must have touched something or said something, and I, I was, like, being bossy. I'm like, you should have on a glove. But anyway, those are the gloves that I just picked up on um, eBay, and I picked them up because they are different colors, and I thought it would be fun to switch up my gloves, and I actually switched them up three times during this uh, video. I wore the pink, the purple, and I can't remember, maybe the green. This is a patat, I'm sorry, let me say that again, a ba badat, <laughs> I can't say it, batat, batat doll. Um, what I was looking for was to make sure it was an American girl. American girl can do pretty good, but batat is, does not do as well. And correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I just haven't researched it enough. Sometimes I'll pick up the little pets that go with them, but um, I haven't sold any dolls before. All right. Tell me in the comments, do you guys wear gloves when you go to the bins? All right, check this out. Is this leather or is this pleather? What is this suede? What is this? Should I have bought it? I was looking at it and then somebody came over and was like getting really close. So I just kind of backed up and, and left it there. But I'm wondering if I should have picked it up. I did grab that because I um, had the ones that were in the bag. So I ended up just making a lot out of them. So let me know in the comments about that leather or pleather or whatever it is. I know a lot of people buy fabric and there he is. He's in my space, he's grabbing it. So I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> Everybody is like, they just, get in your space. All right. I picked up this little chimpanzee, which is adorable. It's got the little um, baby on the back. I love selling toys like that. Small toys. Um, I did pick this one up, but I'm wondering if it's broken. So I haven't listed that one yet. I may just throw it in a toy lot. This My Little Pony had decent comps, but this was not in great condition. I really would have had to have scrubbed it down and I didn't want to do that. So I ended up putting that back in the bin. All right, you guys, go over and watch Dad Planet's video. I'll link it below. 
after you have watched both videos, decide who you think had the best haul and come over to my community page on my YouTube channel and there will be a post where you can vote. And again, please do that by Friday and the winner is going to get a thrifted prize from the loser. And links to other things are down in the description. So check all of those out. Check out my reseller testing Bolo products channel and my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. And please, 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 if you're from my channel, make sure you go over and subscribe to Dad Planet. And if you're new here from Dad Planet's channel, thank you for being here. I appreciate you watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you will subscribe. And we're gonna look through a little more stuff, but I think I've covered everything for the collab. And I will do an update video on who won. Um, it'll be probably, yeah, it'll be on this channel. And I'm not sure if uh, Dad Planet will do that or not. So um, just subscribe to us both and watch for updates. If you hit the bell, that will alert you when we post new videos. All right, you guys, tell me what your favorite thing that I got was. Put it down in the comments. Favorite item. I'm kind of, I don't know. This was just a weird haul for me. I spent like a good 20 minutes finding nothing at the beginning. And then I started finding some just weird stuff. So the complete entire footage will be over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel later this week. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm not going to do any edits. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to show the footage. So it will just be if you like to watch people dig through the bins. Nothing fancy. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching.